Well, we decided to start the My World of Work Ambassador programme um, a couple of years ago as a way of um, trying to uh, launch the website throughout the school. Mm -hmm. um, and since that time, it's been another opportunity for the school to give some pupils uh, the chance to do something that will demonstrate their confidence, that will let them be an ambassador. Yeah. And uh, my role has been, you know, pretty much the admin of it, mm -hmm. um, just so that we have an ambassador program. Yeah, my role has been um, has been kind of the link teacher, so linking with the ambassadors, with yourself, um, and then within the school and also our, our feeder primary schools. Um, so my job has kind of been to facilitate the sessions, to book things, but when it is actually a My World of Work session. It is the ambassadors, and I'm just there to facilitate what they're doing. This is kind of my role. Um, and that's been what's been so lovely about watching those pupils learning how to do it is that they are doing it all by themselves. Mm -hmm. And you've seen the confidence grow, um, their ability to work together in whatever circumstances. Yeah. They take the responsibility off the go. Mm -hmm. And it's, it really has been wonderful to watch them do yeah. it because they really have grown. And I think as well to see them, they are in charge. It's their responsibility. And, um, you know, obviously meet with them and discuss with them, but they've planned out sessions, they've made resources or, you know, gone to the website to get what they need for their lessons. And to actually see them stand up in front of a primary seven class and they're fully in charge. <laughs> And they run the sessions and they have it planned out. It's just fantastic. And I think that's been one of the best things that I've seen this year. Yep, absolutely. And, you know, all obviously we've, we've had support from SES, but um, in some ways it's just knowing that we can go and say, we need help with this. Yeah. Because actually the pupils haven't needed it. No, they are very up on <laughs> everything, <laughs> really. <laughs> It's been useful for me as well because I uh, have the DYW remit in school um, just to have a pool of pupils that I can go to mm -hmm. and say, I need some people to do this. And every time they've been willing to do it. Yeah. And that's been really good too. Yeah. And I think they also can realise what the skills they've developed this year. And then so when they're delivering to our first years and second years, they can actually share that they know what their skills are and I think in younger years we can say it a hundred times but I think coming from their peers it makes a bit more sense and I think that's a positive of my world of work. Yeah absolutely I would agree with you. Um, one of the things that we've, we've learned though is we need to keep recruiting ambassadors. Yes. <laughs> to keep leaving school. Yes. <laughs> um, I think that's something for this session that we try to be a bit more strategic and make sure we have different ages so that they don't all leave at the same time yeah. and we try to keep the programme running mm -hmm. successfully and make sure that the kids can get the most out of it. Yeah. So it's definitely something to think about and um, make sure you have multiple age groups so they don't all go at once. <laughs>